Oh, thanks for watching. This is a fantastic um, uh, discussion and some facts that I want to share about this super hedge and how it's a, a haven um, for beautiful birds for, the, for eating. They're eating the dry and the green, pure green leaf and they make nests and they take their, they cut the, the grass with their beaks and, um, there's, and you'll be able to see in this video, at the end you'll see um, where we show you the bird nest inside the actual hedge. But a living hedge, we call it the multi-purpose, multi-use hedge. So we call it that all-purpose multi-hedge because this biomass king has multiple uses which you can harvest, especially in, in a backyard or on a commercial farm, a big animal commercial farm because this is the total number one animal stock feed. This is a fodder, a high protein vertebra fodder, higher protein than any other known plant that we're aware of and there's so much information about that and it, it, that's proven. But we're talking from our own practical experience. See, on our YouTube channel, we have over 4,100 uh, videos, YouTube videos. And that's um, up to the 2nd of the 5th, um, 2024, May. <laughs> and um, we've been focusing on the biomass because for food security, global food security, this hedge or this vertebra bamboo grass, the Chrysopogon Z90, it's one of the toughest surviving miracle grass in the world. The roots are famous. They go down, you know, many metres deep, up to 15 metres deep. See, after about the third year, subject to the soil condition, the, the, they can go down three, four metres. In their fourth year, fifth year, they go six, eight metres straight down. And that brings all the, 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 the moisture and they tap into the underground, you know, water wells and, and, um, and, and the deep minerals uh, that, that brings a, um, a guaranteed um, water supply. So it, it's self-watering. There's a, a lot of feedstock in drought die, like all the standard nape and other grass, when they're really dry, they don't perform. They either die, or a percentage of it does, but the drought knocks knocks them around so bad it takes months to to recover and regrow because they're shallow roots. There's no other root system. So for uh, an insurance policy that God created, this miracle deep-rooted plant with the higher protein due to the deep roots, and it's a known fact, this is the number one... Um, food security miracle solution for the world and you know we talk about birds in this but it's it when you start growing this everywhere it increases the the ladybirds and the prometus and the and, and and the butterflies and all the insects and all the small lizards and you got all the variety of birds and and the nesting of all that that is a massive eco um culture it's 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 a microflora um a, a powerhouse that helps to then pollinate and create an eco um uh, uh, environment for all the other surrounding plants and trees you know we've done so many videos on the symbiotic relationship oh here we're at the getting close to the end this is one of our 200 liter 44 gallon drums we do extensive research and development, and we've got this number, it's about three months old now, and it's gone through one drought, which lasted for uh, two and a half months, three months. We're still fertilizing it, but strategically testing our SOS organic fertilizer and doing multiple research for multiple purposes. And we do touch upon this, but as I talked about this, uh, this, this one, one particular blue tank, Okay, you see on the, the, the 9th of the 2nd, 2024, that's three months ago. Then I'm looking at it, and I'm always pursuing, and always looking at the biomass, but the biomass is not the reason for this one particular research. Then I found this, look at that beautiful nest. Those little birds that you've seen in the front, that's their nestler. And have a look at the dry vertebra leaf and the bamboo shoots. 
And they got to have a little, a little bit of a roots because we dry roots, right? Bit of a roots for our own drinking and, and, and research purposes still. And so they've actually got the, they pick the dry leaves and the green leaves. When they put a green leaf, because it's going to die after a few days and gets dry, but it stops pests and bugs. It repels insects. It's very famous for that. Now, that's a beautiful, beautiful we, we never disturb and we never remove. We're, we are really, um, uh, we are really conservationists and animal lovers. That's why we, we love worms. We're the number one lover of commercial biomass of worms. Um, we're vermiculturists, so we understand. Now, this, this plant is not only a miracle. Look at that beautiful biomass. It is the, it's the, the, the factory powerhouse of microbes. Everything to do with soil is about the microbes. And, and softening and aerating and releasing the nutrients and the pH adjustments and keeping it mutual and, and the real low uh, pH and the high alkaline. This is the key, is the microbes that live. Look at that big major hedge here. Now, you can halve, you can cut and, and shape it with, with, the, with, the, with the grass cutter, or with the hedge cutters, and they look green, lush. It's all purpose and, and all green. It's evergreen, evergreen, regardless of droughts and floods. Okay, so this is truly uh, a, a, a solution. Now, this is exactly what we do with the thousands of videos in, in landslide recovery. And, you know, we talk about the multi-purpose of this plant. The, the, the leaf is not only the best stock feed in the world, and I'm, I'm touching upon that, and a, haven, and a haven for these birds and insects, it's a living hedge, but you can do handicraft. It's a massive handicraft. This is the one of the most recognized handicraft uh, materials in the world is the leafler. Then you've got the roots. Then you've got the, the same as the handicraft. Then you've got the essential oils. We drink tea. We put some roots in my water and my tea. We always drink invertible root tea. It's the ultimate. Have a look at our, behind those fresh, large, growing beautiful vertebra even in these extreme weather look how healthy and fast growing the young bamboo shoot see uh, that's a young shoot there it's how healthy it is uh, next to the larger ones behind it because this is for research it's not for show okay we're showing the power of biomass to production and giving tips and and in all our videos there's always a catch there's always a um, what you call a um a, 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 a uh, free, uh, free of ice, you know, a hook, a hook at the end and drought. We are so thankful for the people that are knowledge and recognize that we have given them information they've never known. And they said, this is truly a miracle grass. And thank you uh, for, for sharing this. We're going into this seriously. You know, we've got so many people we've started because now they've got a better understanding about the prolific, um, uh, the, now this I'll just, quickly go to this one where we're fertilizer manufacturers this is our one to 50 ratio so we sell a concentrate a liquid organic concentrate one to 50 so a 10 liter becomes 50 liter a 500 liter that's 244 gallon drums or there's two and a half uh, 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 200 liter drums so and, and, it, and it's so powerful that it's still creating that type of growth of a 1 to 20 ratio. So the 1 to 20 ratio is now 1 to 50, which will be starting next year. It's currently 1 to 20 ratio. Okay, so let's go back to the super hedge. Uh, it's got so many other commercial advantages, but our main focus was touch upon the multi-use of bedding, bedding for worm farming, bedding for home composting. One of the key factors of why we got the highest pure organic liquid and solid fertilizer is and our organic waste management from our, our palm oil mill factories and our other you know commercial waste management uh, projects is the the use of the vertebra is a part of our closed loop system our own sos sos organic fertilizer is a division our research and development division okay it's not our trading arm it is it is our it has been going for a long time and, and, it, and it's got so much experience um, and it's now full time in, in market, uh, in, in research and development and, and, and we are got an exclusive 
uh, dealership to sell a market and promote uh, SOS fertilizer um, uh, next year. Oh, we've got we got it now, but we're going to pre-launch and soft launch and, and give a formal launch by the end of next year. Um, and we'll be starting off at the 20 and 50 to be two types, 50. Okay, this is uh, now to the end. Now, time flies when you're having fun. Look, we're going to do, um, we've been wanting to do far more consistent live streaming, which you're going to see. We're going to pretty well go full time in it. We'll be still putting videos up. They'll always be improving in quality. We've got big volumes through because we've got so much work. We haven't been focused. This is only a very young channel. Uh, our YouTube channel, like I said, just got over 1 million views. And I'm one of the senior principal consultants and pioneers in some divisions. So I'm very thankful that I'm working in, with this team. And why we mentioned TikTok in this one, because both we're sponsoring each other. So we're in all the social media sites, but we are encouraging our TikTok users to become a subscriber of we're introducing our TikTok to our YouTube channel, Vertiver Grass King Subba, and we want them to be a subscriber. But we're also bringing massive amount of traffic from YouTube into TikTok, which is forever growing and developing. We, we are now very um, uh, thankful for TikTok. It's an amazing global network. So once again, God bless you and thank you from Vertiver Grass King Subba.